Dear Diary, I slept very well, especially because I have been enlightened. I dreamt of a world with capitalism, and I'm happy to say that it's very, very flawed. I'm embarrassed that Adam Smith's work is popular today. I mean, he should be so ashamed of himself. I dreamt about wages and competition, which are huge problems in capitalism. Wages cause an unhealthy amount of competition among laborers. No matter how hard a laborer works to improve his social status in a capitalist society, he will be oppressed by the rich. Even if he does gain wealth, he will be considered a man with the new money, money earned rather than inherited like old money, and still be looked down upon to some extent. Regarding competition, the laborers not only compete against each other by selling themselves one cheaper than the other, but they work 10 to 20 hours a day, and with machines improving themselves, the work becomes simpler, which causes wages to go down and people don't have enough money. I dream of an ideal society where everyone is in perfect harmony with each other. There is no competition, rather, everyone shares everything they have gained. My ideal point points to the idea that in the end, communist society would be so perfect that there would be no need for a government, or even a currency system, and competition among laborers. Well, that's it for now. I'm off for my morning jog. Hope I don't meet any weird people. Society, like 
like the one I believe in, the division of labor would be destroyed altogether. Everyone would contribute to helping everyone. Everyone would be equal. And with everyone doing a fair amount of work, everyone will have happiness because everyone's helping each other. In a classless society, human needs rather than profit would be the motive for production. Class should not be defined by how much money you have, but through labor that you do. But, but the process of rising above another social class is natural and not really destructive, as it's a cycle considering the proletariats did rebel against the bourgeoisie. Hey, put a little more effort into it. I want this table sparkling. You know what? I'm not going to work under you anymore. Well, this table's not going to clean itself. I'm going to get all my servants and revolt against you. It's time we rise above you. Oh, sure you will. So you're telling me you would need a revolution every time someone's unhappy? Everyone has to fight and get stressed when they want something done in a capitalist society? In communism, everyone is equal. Everyone has what they need. And if they don't, everyone helps them get what they need. That's the good thing about communism, Adam Smith. Karl Marx, you wait here. Let me show you how it's done. <laughs> 